why do most doctors disapprove of or don't recommend natural treatments? Well, the reasons for these are pretty simple. First, herbal medicine is not included in mainstream medical training, so it is possible that your doctor may not be aware of some of these methods. Secondly, traditional Western methods rely heavily on studies and trials to demonstrate the evidence for how effectively a particular medicine or procedure surgery works. Apart from showing how effective the method is, it also recommends the safe doses that can be used for different groups or who can have a particular surgery and who cannot. For the time being, this has not been possible with a lot of natural treatments. And this is why your Western trained doctor may not recommend natural therapy alone as a treatment method for fibroids. But if you have risk factors to fibroids like being overweight or having high blood pressure, of course your doctor will certainly support measures like dietary changes which have been shown to improve overall health and can improve your weight and improve your blood pressure. In addition to other methods for treating fibroids depending on what your symptoms are. Number three question, can natural fibroid therapy actually make a difference? Well, this is the million dollar question. <laughs> but the truth is, we don't know. You may find women who say that their fibroids completely disappeared after losing weight, changing their diet or using some particular herbs, supplements or alternative therapy. But on the other hand, you will also find a large number of women who say they did not experience such benefits despite using the same methods. So I think you should have realistic expectations when considering natural treatment methods because everyone is different from the way we metabolize to the effect that possible herbs or supplements could have on our system. And that said, is it worth trying? Well, I think so. Once you consider your safety with taking any of these methods, in addition to knowing what available traditional Western methods options there are and your personal preference, of course. This leads me on to the final question, which is how can you decide if natural fibroid therapy is for you? Well, the best way to think of natural fibroids treatment is this. While there is no evidence to show that they work exclusively to treat fibroids, there is also no evidence to show that they do not work, at least in some women. You might prefer not to have surgery and are not inclined towards hormone-based therapy and so natural remedies look like an attractive option for you. So, please speak to your healthcare practitioner to know all the possible options available and the side effects for the traditional Western methods. Have a chat with them about natural methods to see what advice they have, which particular methods may suit you and possible side effects to look out for. Don't rely only on what someone shares from their experience, but gather as much information as you can from reputable sources. Another thing that's important is be aware of the treatment goal. What kind of symptoms are you trying to control? Bleeding or bulk symptoms or are you trying to get pregnant? Whichever method by which you come to your decision to choose natural fibroids treatment, please make sure you're working with a supportive health practitioner who can help to monitor your progress as long as you decide to use natural treatments.